Buenos dias, Dr. Karen. Good morning. Bueno, Buenos dias, Ms. White. Buenos dias, Adisa. Buenos dias, Malcolm and Mr. Shields. Buenos dias, Alex and Alexis. How are you guys doing today? All right, so today we have an interesting story. It's called, I knew you could. I knew you could. I knew you could, okay? So we're sitting in our chairs. We have our shoulders back, head up, we're ready to learn. Good morning, Nubia, buenos dias. We have our hands folded on the table. Good job. Eyes on the screen. I knew you could. I knew you could. A book for all the stops in your life by Craig Dorfman. He wrote the book and illustrated by Christina Ong. She drew the book. I knew you could. And you knew it too. That you'd come out on top after all you've been through. And from here you'll go far further and see brand new sights. You'll face brand new hills that rise to new heights. I wish I could show you the stops that you'll visit. But that isn't my choice to make for you, is it? Instead, I can tell you some lessons and tales that I've learned and relearned in my time on the rails. First of all, you must find your own track so you can start right away and not be held back. But which track is yours? Well, that depends on which way it's going and where it might end. Different tracks wind around, over, under, and through, so pick out the one that works best for you. Though the track you start out on will feel like the one, you might take a few more before you are done. And now, with your eyes on your new destination, start up your wheels and roll out of the situation. On your new trip, you'll make plenty of stops in deep river valleys and on high mountaintops. Some will surprise you and some will be planned. And you'll roll through each one saying, I think I can. You'll go through tunnels surrounded by dark and you'll wish for a light or even a spark. You might get scared or a little bit sad, wondering if maybe your track has gone bad. So here's some advice to help ease your doubt. The track you took, it must also go out. So steady yourself and just keep on going. Before you know it, some light will be showing. And then you'll be out, heading to a new place. You'll be ready for the next tunnel you face. Sometimes you'll look up and see planes in the sky and you'll think to yourself, I wish I could fly. The cars on the roads will seem quick and free. You'll feel stuck on your track and think, I wish that was me. But the plane might wish he could get out of the air saying, I wish I could travel like the train down there. The cars will watch as you speed right along, and they'll say to each other, look how fast and how strong. Don't worry about not being a car or a plane. Just enjoy the trip you'll take as a train. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn. If you need to be heard or there are people to warn. Or if being yourself 
just makes you so proud that you want to share it and sing it out loud. You'll follow your track through twists and through bends and stop at new stops and pick up new friends. They'll all come aboard with smiles and greetings. You'll have such great times with the people you're meeting. On days when you feel sad and feel you can't go, speak up and ask a friend for a toe. That's what friends do, so don't be afraid. You do the same if your friend needed aid. You might stop at some stops that you never have toured and look for new friends, but they won't come aboard. So you'll have to head out with a creek and a groan, setting out once again on your track alone. Try to remember that the world is so wide, full of all kinds of people with their own trains to ride. Just stay true to yourself as you travel your track with no second guessing and no looking back. <clears throat> Once you're on the right track, you'll probably say, this one is mine, I'm here to stay. Try to enjoy the track that you choose. Stop now and then to take in the views. If you rush forward as a general rule, before you arrive, you could run out of fuel. Don't overwork, but save up some strength. That way, Every day, you can travel great lengths. You'll need all that strength on the days when you're stuck or tired or sad or just out of luck. When your belief in yourself doesn't feel, so, feel quite so pure and your I think I can doesn't sound quite so sure, that's when you push and to strive and to strain, to show the world you're not a giving up train. And you're wise if you know that doing your best means that sometimes you should just slow down and rest. Speeding through your whole trip will bring you only sorrow. So slow down today to be happy tomorrow. There's more about life that you'll learn as you go, because figuring things out on your own helps you grow. Just trust in yourself and you'll climb every hill. So say, I think I can. And you know what? You will. The end. This has to be one of my favorite, favorite books. I love this book because it's inspirational, all right? And sometimes when you guys feel like you can't do something and you want to give up and you get frustrated, slow down. Think to yourself, I think I can. I know I can. And try again. How do you feel, Dr. Karen? I absolutely agree, Ms. Wayman. <clears throat> and the first time you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. And keep dust trying. Dust yourself off and try again. Absolutely. Some days may be harder than others, but that's okay. Because just like the little train, he saved some of that fuel. He saved some of that strength for those days that were really, really hard. Right? And just like we say, every day we're strong, right? We're proud, right? Remember that you will always be strong and you will always be proud. And you could always use that as strength to keep you going. All right, guys? On that note, let's start with our slideshow. Let me just bring this down. He's up.
and we're continuing learning about transformation this month. What is transformation and how do things change? Many things around me change. There are many ways objects can change. There are many kinds of changes in nature. Some things about me change and some things about me stay the same. And just now, Lucky just made a big, big change. So I showed you Lucky's stuffed animal, right? I said, this is Lucky's favorite stuffed animal. You know what Lucky changed about this stuffed animal? He just now took all of the fluff out. So it's not stuffy no more. So the stuffed animal went from fluffy to flat. And all of the fluff is spread out on the floor. Nubia Sweet Pea, what month is it? June, good job, sweetheart, June. If yesterday was June 28th, if yesterday was number 28, this is number right here, number 28, what is today? 29. 29! That's my Nubian queen, 29. And you know what? I'm going to pass over to Malcolm. Malcolm, oh. sweet pea, if yesterday was Sunday, what is today? Monday. Monday! Go, Malcolm. Go, Nubia. Go, Malcolm. Go, Nubia. Good job, guys. Now, can both of you guys, Malcolm and Nubia, help me out with the days of the week? Let's start with Sunday. Sunday. Keep going. Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Monday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yay! Way to go. Go, guys. Way to go. Good job. Today is Monday, June 29th. Today is Monday, June 29th. Alex Sweepy, actually, Alexis Sweepy, can you help me out? What is tomorrow? If today is Monday, June 29th, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is June the 30th. And what day is it? Tuesday. Way to go, Alexis! Way to go, Alex. Good job, my geniuses. Now let's go on to the month of the year. Mr. Adisa, you want to take it away from me, honey? Mm. Clear that throat. <coughs> 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 And I would like to hear Adisa loud and proud. How about we do them together? Can we do them together? Let's do them together. Yeah, let's do it together, all three of us. Ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. Adisa, what month is your birthday? December. Mm-hmm. What day is it? The number. What number? Uh, I don't know. Tell me. The about... number It's December. 27. Good job. Adisa, is your birthday in the spring, autumn, summer, or winter? Um, winter? Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Adisa. Good job. Nubia, honey, can you help me out with these seasons? Yes, thank you, baby. What season is, it, what season is this one with the snowman? Um, it's not our turn. Winter. 
winter, beautiful and clear. I love it. Nubia, what season is this right here with the beach and the sand? And we're in it right now. Summer. 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 That's what I'm Hi. talking about. That's you. What season is this one right here with the showers and the raincoat? And she's wearing rain boots. What season is this right here? Oh, all new. Look, look up right here. Um, what? All new. Spring. 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 Good job. And what's the last one? What did you say? Um, autumn. Autumn. Good job. The leaves are falling. He's wearing a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve pants. He's raking up the leaves because they're falling down and they're changing colors. Very good job. Super proud. Shanks. Alex. Alex. Can you help me out with some shapes, sweet pea? Okay. Let's do some shapes, okay? What shape is this one right here? Alex, you're talking to me. What shape is this? This is Mr. What shape is this one? Malcolm, do you want to help out your friend Alex? What shape is this right here, sweet pea? After your shapes. No. It's a circle. Good job. What shape is this one right here, Malcolm? Triangle. Keep going. Triangle. How about this one? Square. How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? How about good? How about this one, Malcolm? What's that? Yeah. How about this one, Malcolm? Really? Hard. Hard. Somebody get some wood! Malcolm's on fire! Malcolm's on a roll! Way to go, sweepy. Now I'm going to get a little trickier, okay? I'm going to get Big Sis Nubia to help me out with these shapes right here, okay? Are you ready, Nubia? Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. That's what I like to hear, Nubia. Nubia, what? Hmm. I'm going to get tricky because my Nubia is really, 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 really smart, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trick you just a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. Nubia, what shape is this right here? Um. Diamond. A diamond. What shape is this right here? Um, this one right cross. here. Cross. A cross. What shape is this right here? Um. Arrow. An arrow. And now we're all going to do these together, okay? Okay. This is a pentagon. 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 With a P. Pentagon. Pentagon. Good. This shape right here is a hexagon. 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 Good. Right, Alexis? This shape right here is an octagon. 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 Good job. This shape over here is a trapezoid. 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 Good. And this one down here, no, Lisa, what is not it? I'm making that. That is going to be excellent. Hair. 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 No. Well, parallelogram. Yes, again, Alexis, go ahead. Yeah. Parallelogram. 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 Par
parallelogram. Good job, guys. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. Yeah, everybody. Give yourself a clap. Good job, because you deserve it. You deserve it, okay? Yeah, I'm making that. I would like everyone to please take out their whiteboard, okay? Please take out your whiteboards. I have mine right here. Please take out your whiteboards. Good. All right. Adis is ready. Alex is ready. Nubia is ready. We're all ready. Okay. At the top of your whiteboard, at the top of your whiteboard, everybody point to the top. Take their finger and point to the top of the whiteboard. The top, good job, Adisa. The top, good job, Nubia. Alex, let's see the top of your whiteboard. At the top, I want you to try and write your name, okay? When you're done, hold it up. Way to go, Nubia. Great job, mom. Awesome. Let's see, everybody show your friends what your name looks like. Good job, Alex. Good job, Adisa. And Nubia's held hers up already. Good job. You're gonna keep your name there, okay? Because we're gonna get in the habit of always writing, good job, Alex and Alexis, look at Way to go. So when we bring out our whiteboards, we always want to remember to write our names. Because when we go to school and we get a test, the first thing we have to do on the paper is write our names, OK? We have to write our names. So we're going to practice, 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 OK? So now, underneath your name, underneath, so Miss Whalen's name is right here. Underneath, I want you guys to write the letter A. A, yes, a capital A. Let's see, Adisa. Nubi, I want to see that A. Good job, Adisa. A capital A. All right, five more seconds for that. Way to go, Nubia. Hey, Maverick, how are you? Good job, Alex and Alexis. Next to the A, right? So the A is right here. And next to it, I want you guys to write a capital B. I love that, Adisa. Way to go. So try as hard as you can to mimic exactly what I have on the screen. So next to the A, Ms. Raylan wrote a B. All right? Good job. Good. Great job, Nubia. I love that. Great job. Next to the B, what's the next letter we're going to write? A, B, C. Good job, Nubia. 
Let's write a capital C. It looks like a little crescent moon, right? A crescent moon. Way to go, Adisa. Awesome. It looks like a crescent moon, so a half a circle. Beautiful. Beautiful. How you doing, Alex and Alexis? Thumbs up? You doing good? <laughs> You're hysterical, Alexis. Good job. Way to go. I'm going to do a B. Go, Alex. Go, Alex. I see a little C there. He can't do a B? He needs help doing a B? He can't. All right, Alex. Okay, I want you to okay? I'm going to do it really big, okay? So you're going to make a straight line down. Look, Alex. All the way down. Do you see that? I want you to do a straight line down. Down. Good. So now I want you to do half a circle, a C, like that. A little bubble. And now one more. Boom. All right, let's go backwards. So we did that one, and now we're going to do one more. Boom. Let's see what that looks like, Alex. Way to go, Alex. That's what I'm talking about. Yay. So I have a question. We did A, we did B, and we did C. What comes next? D. Good job, Adisa. So for the D, we're going to do a straight line down. Boom. Straight line down. Boom. And we're going to do half a circle. Boom. Let's do it backwards, all right? Straight line down, and then half a circle. Boom! I'm gonna go back for you, Alex, okay? We're gonna do a straight line down, and then we're gonna do a loop, a half a circle. Let's do it again, okay? Straight line down, and then half a circle. Let's see that D, guys. Way to go, Adisa. Let's see, newbie. Way to go, Nubia. Let's see Alex and Alexis. Way to go. That's what I'm talking about. So now we did A, we did B, we did C, we did D. What comes after D? A, B, C, D. E, I saw you say it, Nubia, E. All right, we're gonna draw a capital E, all right? We're gonna do a straight line down. Do we see that straight line down? All right, we all have that straight line. Then we're gonna do a cross at the top. Then we're gonna do one in the middle. Good job, Nubia. And one at the bottom. I'm going to go backwards, all right? So we did a straight line down, right? We did a line across at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. Awesome job, Adisa. Let's just erase some of those lines, Adisa. You might have too many lines, just three. 
Good job. And this is the last letter, okay? We did A. We did B. We did C. We did E. What comes after E? What comes after E? I can't hear you. Nubia, can you tell me what comes after E? F. F. Good job. So for F, we're going to do a line down, almost the same as the E. Not the same, a little bit different, but almost. Then we're going to do a line at the top and a line in the middle, and that's it. Good job, baby genius Adisa. Let's see, Alex is an Alexis. Great job, my genius Nubia. Way to go, Alex! Great job! All right, guys, clear your boards. We're gonna put that away. Before we do some exercise, I just want you guys to give yourself a pat on the back. All right? Put your forearms up because you guys are on a roll. Seriously, okay? You guys did a capital A. You guys did a capital B. You guys did a capital C. You guys did a capital D. You guys did a capital E. And you guys did a capital F. I'm super duper duper proud. Now, guess what time it is? What time is it, Adisa? Guess what time it is? It's time to get fit. Let's get fit. Let's count to 100. Everyone out of their chairs, on their feet, make some space, okay? I'm going to give you guys a minute. Awesome. Alex is ready. Alexis is ready. Adis is ready. Malcolm's ready. Maverick's ready. Nubia is ready. Everyone's ready. Awesome job. Okay. I would like everyone to take themselves off of mute. While we are working out, I want to hear you count to 100. Okay. We are working out, but we are also counting to 100, okay? So everyone's counting to 100. Are we ready? Count to 100. Alexis yes. is ready. Nubi, you ready? Yes. Denise is ready? Yes. Good. All right, let's start with the jumping jacks. All right, guys. And one, go ahead. Two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Everybody down to the ground. I'm on this. Everybody get in push-up position. We're doing this one right here. Push-up. Push-up position down to the ground. Okay, look at me, Father. Good job, Adisa. Show everybody push-up position. Alexis. Great job, Nubia. And from 20. 20, begin. 21. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 
40. 40. Great job. Now, everybody, back on your toes. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. We are going to grab the sun. Pull them all the way down, all right? Then go to the other hand, grab the sun. Pull them all the way down. And we're going to go from 40 to 60. All right, guys? And 40. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. 47. 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, deep breath in, breath out. Malcolm, you are killing it today. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now, do we want to drive the car first? Or do we want to do sit-ups first? Um, drive the car, Adisa, first? Be a sit-ups. Sit-ups first? I think I heard Adisa say car. Let's do Adisa's car first, okay? All right, everybody. We're getting in our cars. We're getting in our cars. Come on, Adisa. I need you to drive the car for me, baby, all right? We're getting the key. We're putting the key in ignition, right? All right, Adisa, you're turning on the car. Are you ready, guys? From 60 to 80, I want you guys to run as fast as you can. And 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, go, go. 71, Come on, 72, Adisa, drive the car. We can't 72, do it. 74, <laughs> 75, 76, on, 77, 78, 79, 80. 80. Good job. So now we're parking the car. Taking the key out. Taking our seatbelts off. And we're getting down to the ground because we're going to do some sit-ups on your back. On your back. Alexis, honey, turn sideways. Perfect. On your back. On your back. Your legs are folded. Good job. No. You can do it, Adisa. You can do it, Papa. You can do it, all right, baby? I believe in you. You can do it, baby, okay? You can do it. Wait, what? Do it, all right? On your back, legs folded. Are we ready? We home. We gotta do sit-ups. I know sit-ups. 83. 83. 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. We did it. 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 Guys, back to your seat. Take a deep breath in. Thanks, guys. Go do your Take seats. a deep breath out. Okay. Sit down, everybody. Sit down. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. All right, honey. This one is for Mr. Adisa. Mr. Adisa, sweetie pie. I see that your feelings are transforming, honey. Do you want to talk about it? Miss Waylon asked you a question. I see that your feelings are transforming, sweetie pie. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Let's talk about it. Why is Adisa's feelings transforming? Why is Adisa feeling a little bit sad right now? Mm 
Why are you feeling sad? Excuse me? I can't hear you. What do you say? You don't want mommy to yell at you? Mm -hmm. Then you need to follow the instructions and not cry just because you don't get your way. You wanted to turn on the engine and that's what Miss Waylon did. But once she did that, you didn't participate and you didn't count. You kept throwing a tantrum. Can we transform Adisa's feelings again? Does Adisa want to turn on the engine and count to 10? Would that make Adisa's feelings transform? Yes? No? Do you want to do that, babe? Yes? A little louder. I don't want to. You don't want to? All right, babe. If there's something your friends, Miss Whalen and Dr. Karen, can do to transform your feelings, please let us know, okay? Because we want to see Mr. Adisa happy, okay? Let's try to see if by the end of the show we can turn that frown upside down. I see it coming back. I Good see job, Adisa. It. I think he's I back in the game, Miss Whalen. Huh? He's back in the game. I think he's back in action. All right. Now we're going to go to our vocabulary words, OK? We have a new set of vocabulary words. Super excited because this has to do with some of our favorite seasons. And this day is coming up, OK? So I'm going to say the word, and you guys are going to repeat after me, OK? I'm going to say the word. You guys are going to repeat after me. Then we're going to look at some pictures, OK? Drum. Drum. Flag. 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 Red. White. Blue. Blue. No. No. Star. Star. Stripes. Stripes. Graduation. Graduation. Statue. Statue. Fireworks. Fireworks. Picnic. Picnic. Family. Family. And barbecue. Barbecue. All right, let's start. Let's start seeing what these vocabulary words mean. Let's start seeing what they mean and what they look like. Okay, what do we do with a drum? What does a drum look like? What do we do with it? Good job, Adisa. A drum it is. You're right. Who knows what a flag is? Who knows what a flag? Anyone? Go ahead, Alexis, honey. A flag is a flag is something that that has red, white, and blue that that you can like hold, or you can see it on in the city. You can wave it around. It represents where you're from, right? So we live in America. We have an American flag, right? And it has stripes on it, and it has stars, right? We celebrate this flag on a day called the 4th of July. 4th of July. This day is coming up real soon, OK? Real soon. We celebrate this day with family, with all of our family right? Some of us have barbecues where we put food on a grill outside and there's fire under it instead of a stove inside the house where mommy cooks every day. We do this outside and we put fire and we put the food on top of it and the food gets to grill and gets to cook, right? We know what stars are, right? You guys are all stars. You see stars in the sky at nighttime, 
right? We know what stars are. Graduation. Some of us don't know what graduation is yet. Graduation. Graduation is when you move up to another class or go to another school. You graduate, all right? Family. You guys are all with your families, okay? Who knows what fireworks are? Maverick, what's fireworks? Take yourself off mute so I can hear you, babe. Fireworks is the best way you can. What? The best way you can explain it. What's fireworks, honey? Fireworks that fireworks are that it can blow in the sky and then it got colors on it. It does. That's exactly what fireworks are, right? And I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this around your homes, but Miss Wayland's been hearing fireworks all month. All month long, Miss Wayland's been hearing and seeing fireworks, okay? Very good job, Maverick, okay? I'm going to start putting pictures to these vocabulary words. Let's see if you guys were right. Good job, Maverick. We got a picnic. We've had picnics before, right? Right? When we went to the park, we put a blanket down. We ate some fruit, some pizza, some juice, right? A flag. Very good job, Alexis. A flag. This flag, like Alexis said, is red, white, and blue right? The flag has stars. And you see these stripes, these lines going across? You see the red line, then the white line, then the red line, then the white line, then the red, then the white, then the red, then the white, then the red, then the white. Those are called stripes. Stripes, right? And when we put them in that order, red, white, red, white, red, white, what comes after white? Red. Red. What comes after red? White. What comes after white? Red. What comes after red? White. That's called a pattern. A pattern. So these are stripes right here, and they're repeating in the same order. That's called a pattern. We have a statue. Has anybody seen this statue before? You have, right? Where have you seen that statue before? I saw it in Sarah. On the ferry. Very good. On the ferry. The ferry you get on in Staten Island, right? And it goes across the water to Manhattan. And you get to see something called the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. This is a statue, okay? Then we have family. We have our Young Minds in Motion family. We have our family at homes, right? And barbecue, you see that? Got some burgers on the grill, some hot dogs. And under that, in that round part, there's fire. And that fire is what's heating up the food. It's what's cooking the food. And then we have graduation. After you guys leave Young Minds in Motion, you guys graduate, right? And you guys go to kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, and you graduate again. Then you go to the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and you graduate again. Then you go to high school, you graduate again. You go to college, and you graduate again, okay? These are our vocabulary words for the week. And we have a star, but you guys know what a star is. You guys are all stars. Yes, Maverick, honey? I see that your hand is raised. Go ahead, babe. What happened, Maverick? I'm listening. Uh, Say it again. I just a little louder, baby. I graduated on a call too. You graduated? Yeah. Congratulations! We have a graduate. Way to go. A 2020 graduate. Maverick, what grade did you graduate from? And what grade are you going to? First grade? So Maverick graduated from kindergarten. 
And he's going to a new class. He's moving up. He's going to the next level. He's getting bigger. He's getting older. Maverick is going to the first grade. Way to go and congratulations, okay? Mm -hmm. So before we get into our new Spanish words, I just want to quickly go over our old Spanish words, okay? Everybody off of mute. Everyone off a of mute, okay? I off a mute. Good job, Adisa. I off mute. Good job, Mr. Sh uh, the Shields. Okay. Alex, what? we'd like to see you. Hey, good job, Alex and Alexis. All right. These Spanish words, you guys do so well with them. So I gave you something a little harder and a little trickier, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to repeat after me. Okay? I only want to hear you guys repeating, okay, Nubia? And I want to make sure that everyone is saying the word. All right? Adult. Adult. Adulto. 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 Mom and dad are your adults. That's your adulto or adulta. Okay? Yeah. Next word is birthday. Cumpleaños. 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 Good job. Cumpleaños. Let me hear you, Nubia. Cumpleaños. Cumpleaños. Nubia's cumpleaños is in March. Dr. Karen's cumpleaños is in August. Miss Whalen's cumpleaños is in September. My birthday is in September. All right? Ex experience. Good job. Experiencia. Mama says mama. Experiencia. Good. The next word is independent. Independent. In Spanish, independiente. independiente. That one's a little tr tricky. I know, I know. It's okay. Now, the next word is learn. Right? Maverick loves to learn. Nubia loves to learn. Malcolm loves to learn. Alexis loves to learn. And Alex loves to learn. Aprender. Good job, Alexis. Good job. The next word is parent. Oh, parent. Madre. Madre. Good job, Alex. And padre. 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 Good. And the last padre. word is taller. Taller. Right? Alexis is taller than Alex. Alexis is más alta. 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 Because Alexis is a girl, right? Adisa is a boy. Alto. Alto. Good job, Adisa. Alto. Good. So now let's reset before we get into our new Spanish words, okay? Nubi, I want to see your face. Good job. Good. Thank you. Now these are our new Spanish words, right? Let's cross opposition. Mommy, the people are going to get First home. word is family. family. Nubia, can you say familia? Familia. Familia. Are you listening? Alexis, familia. Familia. Maverick, familia. Familia. Good job. Adisa, familia. Say familia. Dr. Karen, familia. Familia. Stefina, familia. 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 Family. We are family. Familia. All right. Next word, flag. Bandera. Bandera. Good job, Alexis. Alex, bandera. Good job. Nubia, bandera. Nubi, bandera. Um, 
Maverick, bandera. Bandera. Good job. What's bandera, Maverick? Bandera. Flag. 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 Adisa, bandera. What's bandera, Adisa? Flag. Good job. Next word is star. Estrella. Good job. Adisa's an estrella. Adisa's a star. Estrella. Nubia, estrella. You're going to choke if you're eating and talking at the same time, honey. Alexis, estrella. Estrella. Good. Alexis is an estrella. Alexis is a star. All right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to drum. Yeah. All right, Adisa, let me see. Let me see. Tambor. Tambor. <laughs> tambor. Yeah. Alexis, tambor. Tambor. Nubia, tambor. Tambor. Isa, tambor. Tambor means drum. Drum. And the last one is graduation. Graduacion. This one's tricky, so I want to hear Alexis say this. Graduacion. Graduacion. Good. And we already know red. Rojo. White, blanco, and blue, azul. Good job. And our new number of the week is after six is number seven. So we're learning the number siete. siete. Good job, Adisa. Siete. Can you count to seven for me? because you're doing a great job today, okay, honey? I'm super proud of you. I hope I see you on Thursday as well. Hello. And more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Yes, Adisa? What happened, baby? Numbers in Spanish. Yes, we will. We count to seven. We're going to learn ten soon. And once we learn the whole, we're going to do them backwards. But that's our little secret, okay? Ah! All right. We're gone. We're gone. 
Yes, are lost in the forest. Let's ask them what's happening. Hey guys, are you lost? You guys look really scared. Do you need help? Oh, look who is over there, our friend, Zen the cat. Maybe he can help calm you down. There's a cat. Hi friends, what's happened? Did you guys get lost? I always do the following pose to make myself feel better. Would you join me? Get on your hands and knees on the ground. Breathe through your nose. Exhale. Round. This way. Good. Good job, Alexis. Good. All right, let's go. Good job, Alex. Yes. Can you see us? Breathe in one. I see you. Go ahead. Two. Let's see if he will help us. I see that you guys are close. Don't worry. You are close to home. I'm going to show you my phone. You will see how you can feel better. We are going to get on our hands. Breathe deeply through your nose. Hands and knees on the ground. Hands and knees on the ground. You're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I want to see everyone doing it, okay, guys? Okay. Going to stretch your legs, stretch your arms, pushing with your hands. Your feet. Return to your knees and relax. Awesome. So much better, right? You guys aren't going to believe it, but under those rocks, I see Namaste the Cobra. Don't be afraid. He's an old friend of mine. <laughs> I'm joining, Mom. All right, everyone, belly on the ground. Belly on the ground. Perfect. Perfect.
Like when Adisa wasn't feeling so well earlier, Adisa can now sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce. He could put his fingers in his ears. He could take a deep breath in and um, until he feels better, okay? Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you could put yourself in a snake position until you feel better and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. Anytime you feel your feelings are transforming and you don't feel okay, you can do any one of those positions to make you guys feel better, all right? So what did we do today? We did story time. Yeah. We did all about today. We did the days of the week, the months of the year, the seasons, the shapes. We did exercise and counted to 100 at the same time. We got new vocabulary words. We reviewed our old vocabulary words. And we got new Spanish words. And we did our goodbye yoga. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a great time. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see you guys all tomorrow. Okay. Adios. Have a great day. Adios. Bye. Bye.